good morning good afternoon and good evening so today i got redmi note 11 and i will uh, show how to convert hyper operating system the global region rom to hyper operating operating system to the indonesia region rom hyper operating system is already released for the indonesia region rom and uh, indonesia region rom is the only rom that will have me dialer and me sms application and if the Taiwan region ROM is available, that will also have me dialer. But currently, the Redmi Note 11 is not having Taiwan ROM. So I was getting a lot of messages to make a video how to convert Redmi Note 11 from Global Hyper OS to Indonesia Hyper OS without unlocking bootloader and without getting a single data loss. I have already done the procedure converting the mobile phone from global to indonesia and data all remains there i am uh, i didn't get uh, any data loss and all the things done very smoothly but i still i will say that always there will be a risk flashing a rom on the mobile phone and converting the mobile phone from any region to another region with lock bootloader or with unlock bootloader and one more thing that this renaming method that i'm going to do in this video is not for the downgrading and not for the china variant if you are thinking to downgrade from hyper os back to miui 14 do not proceed this procedure this renaming method on the lock bootloader your mobile phone will totally get brick and the china variant is not for this method if you follow this method on the china variant converting from china region rom to any other region rom the mobile phone will totally get brick so starting the procedure your mobile phone must be connected with the wi-fi and must check the mobile phone battery it is supposed to be charged to maximum and if the data is important then must save all the data because the xiaomi can do anything i cannot guarantee that all the data will be safe but in case sometime converting the renaming method by converting the from any region to another region by following the renaming method sometimes xiaomi requires to uh, do the factory data reset so in that case the data will get lost so i would advise that save the data before proceeding this procedure now we have to download two full recovery rom file links provided in my video description the uh, first of all the current version that already installed on the mobile phone we need to download the full recovery rom file for example my mobile phone is having hyper operating system version 1.0.3 so i will go to the website and i will look for the 1.0.3 but i will first click on the click on the zip stable zip stable zip means that the full recovery rom file so today the method will be done on lock bootloader or unlock bootloader whatever bootloader you have i mean to say if you have unlock bootloader you can still proceed this renaming method in case if your mobile phone having lock bootloader still you can proceed this method so first of all i will definitely go for the, the full recovery rom file currently installed on my mobile phone that must be i have currently 1.0.3 and then i will go again to back to same page and i will click on the zip stable and i then i will go for the indonesia hyper operating system that must be 1.0.21 and you can click on any server download server xiaomi 1 xiaomi 2 xiaomi 3 xiaomi 4 to start downloading the full recovery rom file on the mobile phone both files are saved in my mobile phone in the download folder now you have to follow the method i have recorded the video neat and clean so you can clearly follow the method and definitely you will get convert your mobile phone from global variant to indonesia so follow the method uh, watch the video and uh, definitely you will get the indonesian rom Thank you so much. Do not forget to subscribe my channel. Do not forget to click or tap the bell icon. Click or tap the select all. Thank you so much.